Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Lightning out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and truth sincerity. Alright, you know this uh, brother Shalom from uh, DTA camp. I'm um, here at you brothers uh, with a quick herb lesson. And um, basically, you know what you see here, I got in the pot. You know, uh, this is a uh, lily of the valley. It's uh, hawthorn berries, okay? And these two herbs are great herbs, you know, uh, for for the heart. You know, basically to rebuild, you know, a uh, degenerative heart. You know, these are typically used, uh, you know, for older people and things of that nature. But these are two of the top herbs that uh, you can use, you know, like if you're having problems with any, uh, having any heart problems and things of that nature. All right? And, um... You know, so that's what I got boiling right now. You know, I try to take this, you know, uh, on a regular basis, you know. Um, and the first one, you know, right here, see, here's what, uh, Lily of the Valley, okay? You know, get this from the herb store, you know, about 4,000 ounce, you know, um, and Lily of the Valley, basically, you know, uh, it's good for heart disease, cardiac debility, uh, congestive heart failure, uh, helps to, uh, you know, uh, dilation of your, your blood, you know, open up your uh, clogged arteries, um, lowers blood pressure because it's a natural diuretic. Um, you know, if you have any irregular heartbeat, you know, it helps uh, to build the weak heart. You know, as I said, if you're having a, a regular heartbeat, it helps to regulate that. You know, um, has high uh, antioxidant levels, you know, um, and it's known to strengthen the brain. And it's good for memory as well. You know, with all herbs, you know, as many different um, uh, side benefits that these herbs have. But you know, I'm just touching on the main benefit, you know, of this uh, herb pear lily of the valley. Today. Okay, and um, you know, uh, and both are great for uh, chest pain and things of that nature too. All right, and um, the next one right here, you can see this is uh, hawthorn berries. Okay, it's hawthorn berries. It's another great herb, uh, you know, for the heart. And basically, both of the herbs pretty much do. You know uh, the same thing. You know, hawthorn berry good for uh, for the circulation in the blood, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, helps to strengthen the heart, um, rebuild the uh, the heart muscle walls, um, helps with the uh, insomnia, uh, diarrhea, helps to uh, <clears throat> stimulate uh, and aid digestion, helps to uh, strengthen the blood vessels, restore the heart muscle wall, lower uh, cholesterol, so on and so forth. So, you know, these are top two herbs, you know, uh, that you can get to you actually use for any adverse heart, of, uh, heart uh, problems. And especially, you know, the lily of the valley. This is considered like the number one of all uh, herbs, you know, for the heart. And these two are always uh, used, well, mainly they're used, you know, uh, together uh, with another uh, top herb for the heart. That's a motherwort, but I don't have that with me right now. You know, but these are the main two that I use, you know, for the heart. And also another thing about the uh, lily of the valley, once you see how they actually grow, you know, um, they have a, a nickname for lily of the valley and it's called Jacob's Ladder. Because um, the petals of the uh, lily of the valley plant, you know, they actually like bell peppers, but they hang over, you know, but they grow up from the bottom and you see the, uh, the bells of the petals, you know, uh, hanging over, and it's like in an ascending order, you know, just like a ladder. So that's why, you know, um, they call Lily of the Valley, you know, a nickname for it is called Jacob's Ladder. All right, and this uh, pretty much grows out there uh, in the UK uh, around May. And, you know, we're approaching May right now, you know. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, just for uh, any brothers that may be having any heart problems or any heart trouble, these are two top herbs. For the heart to rebuild your heart, you know, uh, to help, you know, pump more blood throughout your heart, and uh, you know, studies show, you know, Esau did tests, you know, with elderly people, you know, uh, trying out these two herbs, Purchase you know, for approximately today. three months, and they known a better increase in uh, blood flow to the heart and being able to people being able to exercise even more. Okay, so you know, as you see, once again, you know, I got it boiling on the pot right now. It's pretty much, you know, it's done. So I'm about to, uh, you know, consume this. So, um, you know, I post the scripture up at the end of this lesson. So, you know, with that, you know, I hope you brothers were edified, you know, from this lesson and, you know, gained a little bit of information on these two uh, herbs, you know, for to rebuild the heart. 
All right, so you know with that, you know I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Buanas, the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Legman out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom and death to America.